I start, I just want to thank you, Antonio Guterres, for speaking so clearly about the climate crisis. It brings a lot of hope to people. For 25 years, countless of people have stood in front of the United Nations climate conferences, asking our nation's leaders to stop the emissions. But clearly, this has not worked since the emissions just continue to rise. So I will not ask them anything. Instead, I will ask the people around the world to realize that our political leaders have failed us because we are facing an existential threat and there is no time to continue down this road of madness. Rich countries like Sweden need to start reducing emissions by at least 15% every year to stay below a two degree warming target. You would think the media and every one of our leaders would be talking about nothing else, but they never even mention it. Nor does hardly anyone ever mention that we are in the midst of the sixth mass extinction with up to 200 species going extinct every single day. Furthermore, does no one ever speak about the aspect of equity clearly stated in the Paris Agreement, which is absolutely necessary to make it work on a global scale. That means that rich countries like mine need to get down to zero emissions within six to 12 years with today's emissions group. Because how can we expect countries like India, Colombia or Nigeria to care about the climate crisis if we, who already have everything, don't care even a second about our actual commitments to the Paris Agreement? So when school started in August this year, I sat myself down on the ground outside of the Swedish Parliament. I school strikes for the climate. Some people say that I should be in the school instead. Some people say that I should study to become a climate scientist so that I can solve the climate crisis. But the climate crisis has already been solved. We already have all the facts and solutions. And why should I be studying for a future that soon may be no more, when no one is doing anything to save that future? And what is the point of learning facts when the most important facts clearly means nothing to our society? Today we use 100 million barrels of oil every single day. There are no politics to change that. There are no rules to keep that oil in the ground. So we can no longer save the world by playing by the rules, because the rules have to be changed. So we have not come here to beg the world leaders to care for our future. They have ignored us in the past and they will ignore us again. We have come here to let them know that change is coming, whether they like it or not. The people will rise to the challenge. And since our leaders are behaving like children, we will have to take the responsibility they should have taken long ago.